everyone, Dakota here on another edition of To Read or Not To Read? That is the question. This week's topic is unplugged play. As you and I both know, there's a lot of technology in our everyday lives. Our phones, TV, the computer, all big items that we see in our everyday lives. But kids often, their brains like to think about things to do that don't involve technology. So I'm gonna share with you some books today on how to indulge in some unplugged play with your children. And I have some fun ideas and book recommendations for all ages. So these first books, Unplugged Play, we have The Preschool, which is geared toward ages three to five. We have The Toddler, which is geared toward ages one to two. And we also have grade school um, geared toward ages 6 to 10. And all of these books have different activities that you can do with your children that are age appropriate. Some of them are outside. Some of them are inside. There's different songs you can engage with them in. There's different activities, crafts, arts, even imaginative play. And a lot of those fun activities are in here. There are over 200 in each book. So there's no shortage of ideas for you to engage with your children without technology. We have the Unplugged Play. This is the older edition, but this one, especially if you have kids um, ranging from one to 10, this one has all of those ages together in the older edition. All four of those books from, are by Bobby Connor. And this last one, 15 minutes outside, 365 ways to get out of the house and connect with your kids. And this one is by Rebecca P. Cohen. And this one is really cool because it gives you an activity every single day and it also divides it up by months of the year. So you can turn here, say it's winter time, um, you can turn to December and it gives you a list of activities that you can do perhaps when it's snowing outside or colder and all of these are outside activities. And the best part is it teaches you that there's no shortage of time in your day to get outside for 15 minutes, even if it's um, on the way to school, just taking a little bit longer for your route, on the way home from school, etc. Definitely check out these books and see how you can go unplugged with your children this year. We'll see you next week on another edition of To Read or Not To Read. That is the question. Bye, guys.